Hey guys, so we are here for Extra Life. We are at Dell Children's Hospital in Austin, Texas, and uh, we're gonna do a little walk around and meet some people involved with Dell Children's and uh, see how our Extra Life contributions actually help out the hospital. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Katie, you ready for this? I am so ready for this. All right, let's do it. I'm here with Christy, the Epilepsy Program Manager, and we're in front of this really cool room that um, we're going to get her to explain a little bit more about. Absolutely. So we're on our what we call our Epilepsy Monitoring Unit right now. This is a place where kiddos can come and they can have EEGs done. Our kiddos are usually in the room, their, their own patient rooms, but what we've been able to do is have a wireless system so that the kiddos can actually leave their room and come here to this playroom, which has a lot of different sensory uh, you know, items and different um, textures and fun lights and things that they can actually play and get out of their room. And that's something they haven't been able to do before until we expanded into this bigger unit about a year and a half ago. So we're very excited about it. Now we're here with Emily, who is the nurse practitioner, and Kevin, who is the EEG technologist. Technologist, very cool title. Um, and I just want to ask you guys a little bit about what you do here uh, in this particular ward and at Dell Children's. Well, I see the kids every day, um, check on them and listen to them and see how they're doing. I um, help put in medication orders, etc and um, kind of in the physician's uh, eyes and ears when they're not here. These guys uh, let us know when someone's having a seizure and um, then we treat appropriately. So what we do, me and the techs will um, put electrodes on top of the kids' heads mm -hmm. and that'll look at electrical activity in their brains and then so we watch and see if there's any abnorm abnormal activity and then we talk to Emily and the doctors and then they medicate based on that. So we're in the HEB Amphitheater here at Dell Children's Hospital. Now this is a place where kids can come uh, where they might be attached to their IV still. Um, they can all come together, spend some time with other kids in the hospital, uh, watch a clown perform here. I'm not very clowny, but you know, have somebody come and perform here, a comedian, a clown, or they can watch films, have a TV rolled in. I'm here with Dr. Ferrari, who is the director and scientist of the Meg Lab. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what it is that you do and, and a bit more about the Meg machine? Sure. Um, our machine is called Magnetoencephalography, or MEG for short. I'm glad you pronounced that for me because I've been unable to. Yeah. So uh, what uh, MEG is, is a um, basically a neurophysiology uh, device, uh, one of the m sort of most sensitive sensing devices uh, in the world, and we record uh, the brain waves uh, that uh, are emitted uh, when the brain is uh, working, basically. Right. Here at Dell uh, Pediatric Hospital, uh, we use MEG to uh, localize uh, epileptiform activity in patients with epilepsy and also map functional activity uh, in, in those patients and also brain tumor patients before they go to surgery. So we have a non-invasive method for localizing function and bad parts of the brain so, so to give the, the surgeons uh, information prior to going into surgery. This technology uh, revolutionized uh, the non-invasive mapping uh, uh, world actually. Um, there's only about 25 uh, clinical sites in the world, that, uh, in the country, sorry, uh, that have this technology and we're one of uh, six pediatric hospitals in the country that have uh, the, the opportunity to use this technology. All right, so I'm here with Dr. Mark Lee, who's a brain surgeon, I just found out. And uh, can you tell me a little, about, a little bit about what you do here at Dell Children's? Well, I mean, obviously I do uh, uh, brain surgery, uh, <laughs> but the, my main, uh, the main thing I do is epilepsy surgery. So this is for children whose uh, seizures aren't controlled with medication. And so we put a lot of effort into trying to find the area of the brain where the seizures are coming from, and then we can actually do surgery to cure the epilepsy. Cool, and so one of the things that Extra Life helped out with, with the Rooster Teeth helped out with, was the Meg machine upstairs. Can you talk about how that sort of helps what you do? That's really very important uh, in, in what we do with epilepsy. That helps us localize the area of the brain where the seizures are coming from. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's very helpful. Basically, what we do is if we can find a small spot in the brain where the seizures are coming from, we can actually uh, place a laser fiber with computer guidance into that spot 
and then um, in, in the MRI scanner actually burn a lesion um, uh, that we can actually see developing in the MRI so we, we can be very precise. And the real advantage of that is that the patients actually leave the hospital the next day. And the MEG really helps us localize where we need to put that electrode and the laser fiber to do this. I'm here with Gina, who has a daughter, Daisy, at Dell Children's. So did you want to tell us a little bit about Daisy's experience at Dell Children's or your experience as a parent having a child at Dell Children's? Sure, absolutely. Um, Daisy is 15 years old and um, we kind of fell into being treated at Dell Children's uh, by chance, kind of after several years of being treated for uh, epilepsy and autism. And uh, it's been a wonderful experience. We were here last month for a few days and learned a lot about Daisy's condition and um, have had the opportunity to meet some amazing doctors and um, some individuals that are working with her and providing care, uh, as well as working with us on planning her future and making some good decisions. So it's been a really positive experience. Now we're here with Gwen, this wonderful, wonderful woman. Gwen, do you want to tell me what it is that you do here at Dell Children's and sort of where we are and who we have here? Sure. Um, I'm Gwen. I'm, the, I'm a nurse, actually, and I'm a manager of the neonatal intensive care unit for Dell Children's Hospital. And I also manage the neonatal transport team. A lot of our babies come sometimes for prematurity, but also for very specialized, complex needs like mm -hmm. surgery they have a cardiac um, problem at birth or if they ha are in need of a pediatric subspecialist of any kind. So here's a little baby, for example, who's been with us for a couple of months and he's really, he's more than doubled his birth weight. So he's we about... We only saw him two weeks ago when we came here. Right, right. And now he's um, over three pounds about. Um, so when he came, he was just a little over a pound. And you see he's off the ventilator now. He's learning how to eat and grow. And um, so he's just doing really well. And he was transported in um, by our neonatal transport team. We have babies who stay here for many months. So we kind of become part of their family at first we get we build a really strong bond with the family because this is such an important part of their lives I'm here with Roger whose son Alex is here at Dell Children's did you want to talk a little bit about what Alex is here for um, yeah Alex uh, back on August uh, 26th um, uh, he was out on a soccer field uh, and uh, what happened was uh, uh, a stray lightning bolt uh, uh, hit him while he was at his uh, first soccer practice of the, the season. Um, and this, uh, this lightning strike uh, caused uh, him to go into cardiac arrest. They then transported him initially to Dell um, uh, by helicopter. When he first came to Dell, he was still largely unresponsive. So uh, they were working on uh, wound care for uh, uh, the still existing uh, burn injuries. How, how old is Alex? He's nine, yeah, so. So he's still growing? He's still growing, yeah, and uh, and uh, the other thing that he's gotten a lot of uh, here from Dell is he's had uh, occupational therapy, mm -hmm. uh, physical therapy, and speech therapy, and music therapy, and uh, since he's been here he started becoming more interactive. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's talking now, um, Quietly, he is, Which I uh, bet is know, a huge relief. Oh, it is a huge relief. He's tracking us. He's looking around. He's uh, enjoying uh, when we play music he's familiar with. He'll smile. So, Kip, I was wondering uh, what day would be good to uh, take this back to the office, if that's okay? No, it's not okay. No?
Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about Dell Children's Hospital. We've been working with these guys now for a couple years and they're incredible. And you can see everything inside is amazing. And what you are doing is helping these people. So thank you everyone who's supporting Extra Life. And if you can, please donate. And if not, just spread the word. Just get, get the word out there. You know, we, us gamers, we're trying to do good in the world. And so uh, hope you're helping out. So again, thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for helping out. I know Dell Children's is very excited about this. So uh, thank you all and enjoy the stream. So Caleb was in the machine. What, what? What's your conclusion on that? Yes, we just finished the recording, and unfortunately, we think there's nothing there. Nothing there. Doctor says.